everybody welcome back to big daddy's barbecue pit this week we're gonna do a rotisserie whole semi boneless ham on the weber kettle okay so we got a 13 pound semi boneless ham here that we're gonna do on our rotisserie first thing we want to do we're gonna keep it real simple we're just gonna come across here about a quarter inch deep and we're gonna start by cutting some hatch marks in here this will allow us to get some of our binder down in there get some of that rub down in there as well don't want to go too too deep and we're just going to come back the other way same thing this will open up real nice we're only going to be shooting for about 155 on this today it's fully cooked we'll be cooking on a rotisserie on the weber kettle running some jealous devil extra large briquettes okay so the next thing we're going to do before we get this thing too messy is Go ahead and insert our spit rod and hope not to hit that bone. And voila, we did. So we got that side in. Now, I have some Dijon mustard that I'm using for a binder. Stone ground. And then we're just gonna come back over it with some killer hogs, hot barbecue rub. We're not gonna do too heavy. Just enough to give it a little color. We're gonna leave this sit for about 15 minutes. We're gonna take her out. Once our Weber is up to temperature, we're gonna stick this on. Okay, so we got this hammer ready to go on. The fire is cooking nice. Gonna slide this in. I'm gonna turn this on just to see how it's gonna how we're gonna spin here. Too bad. Good. Nope, I think I'm gonna leave it go just like that. Hit her with just a little more rub on the way by. Okay, so we're about two hours into this ham. So we're just gonna start basting it. I will uh, provide you this recipe real simple. It's a bourbon maple with some brown sugar. We're just gonna kind of drizzle this on top. Gonna run down in those little nooks. Wish y'all could smell this. Okay, we've let our ham rest. We're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna try to slice this thing, get a nice big chunk out of it. Hey everybody, we're gonna give this ham a try. Again, we double, double smoked it really on our uh, rotisserie on our Weber kettle. Uh, took it up to about 155 internal. Hit it with a little Dijon mustard as a binder with some Killer Hogs hot. And we left it rip for about two hours and then did a quick easy glaze on it. And here we are. So we're gonna give it a try. <laughs> And juicy. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like and subscribe. Get, Get you some. some.
crunchy part on the outside is good. Oh, no, you're I know. Alright, go ahead.